Hello, hi, my name is Min. Welcome to my channel, Min's Class. Today's lesson, we're going to talk about IELTS general test, writing task number one, which is letter response. Usually, for this part of your essay, you need to spend you need to spend about 20 minutes. And you should spend 40 minutes for your writing task number two. So try not to spend more than 20 minutes. And with this time, you need to spend about five minutes brainstorming for ideas and you need to do another 13 minute writing and leave at least two minutes for review and revise. All right, so let's look at the question and brainstorm together and look at our template and then write the band nine essay together. So as soon as you look at the question, there are a few things that we need to do. So we need to do uh, analysis of the question and we need to figure out the key information and we need to figure out what we are going to cover in our letter and also some detailed information for the question. So let's read over the question together. One of your neighbor's children has accidentally broken the front window of your car and you should write a letter to his or her parents and in your letter you should introduce yourself, explain what happened and what they should do. Okay, fairly simple. So for the five minutes of our brainstorming time, what we are going to do is we are going to figure out who this person is. So it just said one of your neighbor's children. So we need actual name. And whether the, whether the child is a boy or a girl. So uh, for the sake of argument, let's give this person the name Sarah. And it's she. So it's gonna be her parent and has accidentally and this tells us a lot of information that uh, Sarah never intended to, broke, uh, to break the window of my car and over here the front window uh, this doesn't tell whether uh, it is the driver's window or uh, the passenger seat window okay and um, Again, for the sake of argument, let's do passenger seat. Uh huh. And uh, here it just said my car, but uh, we can give more details than this one. So uh, we can say Honda Civic. It's always important to give details in your letter. And we can even say that this car is black. Mm -hmm. So, and we should write a letter. Uh, so these, all of these should be in the body of our essay. So introduce ourselves. We need to do a self introduction. So I'm your neighbor. And my name is Min Park. Okay, so for this one, you can use your name or you can use someone else's name or a makeup name as well. And you need to explain what happened. So basically, uh, Sarah accidentally broke the front window of my car, but what's missing is how and when and where and we already know why uh -huh. and what so what was she doing when she broke the window of my car and how she, how did she broke it uh, and also when uh, did she break it okay 
So we need to talk about those. And this part is uh, the compensation. and uh, solution so this is what happened she broke my car so uh, you are her parent so you should do something basically in this case they're going to uh, repair my car mm -hmm. and when this happens the uh, what usually happens is uh, they talk to their insurance company and see if it covers everything so they should talk to their insurance and uh, if not uh, I'm going to uh, give them a recommendation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, call several mechanics and uh, and get estimates so repair estimates so I'm going to get repair estimate Uh -huh. So uh, I'm going to give them the estimate uh, and whether uh, if they are okay with it then uh, they will pay me back in money so I can uh, get a repair for my car. Mm -hmm. So pretty much this is what you should be doing for that five minutes of your brainstorming time. All right here is our template and this template applies to all letter writing both formal or informal or even semi-formal so please spend some time on your own memorizing this format so I'm going to explain this template first so we always start a letter by addressing the title so if you know the person's name dear Mrs. Park mm -hmm. uh, and usually uh, the question does not specify who uh, you are writing a letter to so uh, you can just make up one mm -hmm. so in this case uh, you're writing a letter to Sarah's parent so dear Miss Park or it could be anything dear Parkinson anything and if uh, there is no specific information for example, you're writing a letter to a company's a customer service agent, then you could say, dear sir or dear madam. All right, and next is our opening statement. I am, so you need to give your introduction. So uh, you need to introduce who you are. So this is Min Park, I am Min Park. You can use any other name. You can even use fake name. You can just say, I am Michael Jordan. Uh, and I am writing this letter. So this part is very important because it tells, uh, it tells the reader of your letter, uh, you know, the purpose of your essay. So um, there are basically uh, uh, three options that you can choose from. A, inform you that something, something happened. And this is what we are going to use. Uh, for our essay. So we are going to say I'm writing this letter to inform you that Sarah your daughter has Accidentally broken the window of my car. We're going to say that and there are many other questions where we need to express gratitude to be thankful or dissatisfaction We are not very happy with something or we are concerned about something and sometimes we have to write a letter uh, to apply for a position in a company okay so that's what we are going to do and next this part is super long so body so basically we need to answer all three bullet points mm -hmm. a b c the first one was introducing ourselves explaining the question and then uh, we need to to, uh, we need to tell them what they should be doing okay but in this case the introduction is already covered in our opening so uh, this one is not necessary in our closing statement we can say these three 
So you can say, I look forward to hearing from you soon. So please respond to me uh, as soon as you can. Or you can say, please pass my regards to uh, Kevin. Uh -huh. And you can use B when you're writing a letter to someone that you know, to your cousin, to your uh, parents, or to your friends, colleagues, okay? Someone that you have an uh, intimate relationship with. And C, uh, so like um, you've, told, you've uh, told them a bunch of stuff already, and uh, you can finish your essay, or you can finish your letter by saying, if you have any questions, please uh, get back to me. Uh, during my office hours, you can say that. And lastly, what you need to do is signing off your letter. Uh, you can just use yours sincerely for any letter that is formal. So all formal letter signing off can have that. So formal, but mm, if your letter is just done informal letter that you're writing to your neighbor or colleague or friend then you can just say warm regards informal and then lastly uh, beneath that you need your name uh -huh. so you can just say min and park okay so that's the basic structure of the template uh, for a letter writing and you need to memorize this all right, so here is our title, Dear Miss Jackson. Okay, so this is a made up name. You can use whatever that you want. Uh, and always don't forget to put comma. And then this is our uh, opening statement. I am your next door neighbor. You can even say your sweet number, let's say 201 and your name Min and I'm writing this letter to inform you that your daughter Sarah so we have some details right here broke the front passenger window so details like this will give you more point window of my 2021 black Honda Civic so this is the uh, car make uh -huh. so car make and which year uh, this model is uh -huh. and this is how it happened and when it happened while playing softball yesterday afternoon so when mm -hmm. all right so uh, here I've added a sentence with an opening Regrettably. Regrettably, instead of that, you can say sadly, unfortunately, but I like this word because it kind of shows my uh, vocabulary skill and level. So, regrettably, the car is brand new, hmm. which is not a good news for you because you just broke my brand new car. So, I'm just giving them a lot more pressure and you know what's worse so connection words like this is super important mm -hmm. and you can even use phrases like to make matters worse mm -hmm. it's in the middle of winter mm -hmm. so uh, this is winter now and it's super cold outside and I need my car to drive to work which aggravates, makes my situation worse since I'm not able to drive my car to work. So I'm giving uh, Miss Jackson uh, a lot of pressure. You need to do something fast. All right, and next we're going to talk about what we want from them. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, your automobile or homeowner's insurance, uh, we put or because we don't even know ourselves, right? Uh, it could be their automobile insurance that covers it or 
you know, since it happened uh, in their residence, uh, it could be their homeowner's insurance. We don't know. We'll cover for the damage of this sort. If they do not, so what if it doesn't? We're giving them alternative. So this one is, we're giving them alternate, alternate option. If they do not pay for it, I will get to repair estimates. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I'm just, I'm not just gonna get one. I'm just, I'm, so I'm gonna get two repair so that they can pick which one is better for them. Mechanics near me so that you can determine how you will pay for the repair. So please check with your insurance providers first because you never know what's gonna happen to see if you're covered. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the solution that, I, uh, that I'm providing for them, okay? And then uh, we can set up another, uh, we can set up a future meeting with them in person so that we can discuss this matter further. So we can add that right here. All right, so uh, before we get to our uh, closing statement, I just added this part right here. Uh, so perhaps we could meet this Saturday to discuss our options because uh, there will be money involved and her daughter is involved, right? So, um, you know, um, we can meet in person to discuss our options. But in case you're not, available so if you don't have any time on this coming saturday please let me know the time the date and time of your convenience so we are setting up a meeting so setting up a meeting so instead of just uh you know switching opinions through mails and letters uh, we can actually meet up in person and to discuss this problem. And then we are going to move on to our closing statement and our sign off. Okay, so this is our closing. I chose, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Soon, it's winter, my car is brand new, so please fix this uh, as soon as you can. We're giving yet again another pressure uh, and I appreciate uh, you know by showing our appreciation uh, they will take this matter more uh, seriously and your considerate attention to this matter in advance even though they haven't uh, you know re replied to us or anything you know we're just uh, showing that we are uh, you know that we care uh, and that we know we trust that uh, they will take this matter uh, very seriously okay and then uh, even though we are writing a letter to our neighbor uh, you know this is a former issue and this is a serious issue so uh, I chose yours sincerely but you know uh, you can feel free to use uh, best regards or warm regards if you want okay and uh, i didn't want to use my name so i used kevin and park okay so that's how you write uh, and that's how you tackle uh, deal with il general writing task number one and if you write it like this uh, i guarantee uh, you will get bent nine score for sure uh -huh. and with the time left at least two minutes spend at least two minutes on checking for errors and revising for uh, revising for corrections all right so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed my class today thank you so much and if you liked it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like and set an alarm all right, see you next class. Bye-bye.